great America is. Yep. You failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? All right. Um, no, no, no. Let's be respectful. I mean, let's be not triggered. I understand no, 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 how to no, 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 handle no. myself, a, unlike some Trump guys, supporters. Guys, guys, guys. It was, so. a, it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Um, on the first half of your question, women don't agree with you. Uh, fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even mm. though over 85% of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit. And then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism is a mean, vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man-hating philosophy. So that why has very would you Well, let me finish, because I let you finish, okay? okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man-hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite the fact that 92% of women, in, Amer uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality, it is to beat down on men. So you've lost, you know, you have a big PR problem on your hands. And when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of the sexes. Don't you believe in equality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for, uh, multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture, and then turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, oh, feminism's just about equality. Give me a break. Give me a break. So... <laughs> as to your... As to your s the second part of your question, um, mm. I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell by both Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. Um, I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really wanted to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail, the terrible, pointless, awful war on, cr war on drugs, right? Um, replacing you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're gonna try voting for the other guys because 40, 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools so that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. They cause a fuss, they block a road, and they burn their own towns down. So yeah, I agree with you that there's a problem. But I, I think we probably have very, very different prescriptions for that.